Last week on Von Halle Adventures. There are these speed bumps that are like three times as large as the US, and we went flying over one at 60 miles per hour. It broke. The lagoon table broke from yeah, that? Yeah, our bed frame all popped out underneath there. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's not taking my pin, my pin number. I don't understand. Brian had to go back into the van real quick. He's having some gut issues. We've hit some speed bumps, quite literally and figuratively, as we begin our Van Life Mexico adventures. And this week, we pick up right where we left off. This toll is more money. This is 176 pesos. Ooh, that's quite a bit. What exactly is that in dollars? Uh, well, 20 is one dollar, so oh. do that math. I do not. Almost ten dollars. Maybe eight dollars. What? Maybe like eight dollars. Oh. No. Let me get out for some money. It's the money. It's, it's the money. It's, it's the money, money. Hold on. All right. Two, three, twenty. Is that right? That's fine, but. Hasta bien, pero. Hasta bien, pero. Hasta bien, pero. I don't have three. No tengo no, tres. Tengo tres. No tengo tres. How much do you have? Uh, ¿Cuánto tiene? ¿Cuánto tiene? I don't know. No sé. No, no sé. sé. It's not here. No está aquí. No está aquí. No está aquí. Where is it? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? In the hotel. We continue to drive for what seems like forever, and after initially having a hard time finding a cash machine that works with our bank card, we stop by every ATM until we find one that finally works. Well, we found another ATM. We're going to try this one. We called our bank, and they said to try this particular brand. I, I don't know what you would call it, brand of bank. Anyway, it's the Scotia one, so hopefully this works. You ready to get this money? Yeah, I hope it works this time. Dun, dun, dun. Let's do it. Okay, we didn't <laughs> record because we were just trying to get a good translator on our phones. Uh, because we still can't get cash. <laughs> we can't yeah. buy cash. We were told to come to this place. They, um, but there was no ATM. It actually was just looked like a money exchange. She looked at our card and said no. So, this was supposed to be the easy part of going to an ATM. Like, everybody we talked to online was like, oh, just go to an ATM. Yeah, what ATM? There are none. Yeah. No, there are ATMs. Our pin, our, it says our PIN numbers aren't working. Yeah, so, it's like slightly frustrating I for the understand. day. We have enough, though. We have like nine, or what, 1,200 pesos, which should be enough for the tolls. And we've been just using my credit card for the fuel. And um, that's been working just fine. So just a heads up to anybody coming down here. All right, so apparently the airport has a cash machine in Mazatlan. I'm gonna walk in and uh, see if I can get some pesos here. Okay, looking for the cash machine. Not sure where it is. At last. I think we're in luck. We got the pesos. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yes! Woo! Look at that money. <laughs> this is so good. All right. Way less anxiety now. After this whole fiasco, Brian has been doing his best to drive us down some of the most interesting roads we have been on since starting van life. Are we going down a one way or something? Oh, you did feel about this driving. Oh, uh, I made a wrong turn and we ended up in this little town. Yeah, it is crazy. Just trying to go left. It's impossible. <laughs> After 
three days of non-stop driving, we finally arrive at our new home in Lodi Marcos, where our dear friend Efra has come to greet us. He's a really cool dude, and you'll see a lot more of him in the series, so stay tuned for that. Ah, finally here, yeah. babe. Welcome. Hola. Hola. We had to film our arrival. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. Hi. You're going to be the star Zephra. of our show. <laughs> of course, we started our stay with a few well-deserved margaritas and beach time. The RV park we're staying at is located right on the beach, and I'll be sure to put a link down below in the description, so check that out. And the view is pretty stellar, and so is this town. Lodi Marcos, which is located about one hour north of Puerto Vallarta and only a short distance to the more famous cities of Celulita and Punta de Mita, has a lot less tourists and is a bit more quaint, which we have really enjoyed. After some searching, we found two cafes offering high-speed internet, which I really want to tell you is definitely difficult here in Mexico, so we're super thankful, and this has allowed us to get some much-needed work done. To round out a nice few days here in Lodi Marcos, Efra invited us over to learn how to make some vegan tostadas. Hey, I thought I told you guys to get out of here. <laughs> I'm slicing cabbage. Efra? I'm going to throw some zucchini into the oil, right there. Rojo, and some chimichurri. It's going to be good. Hi. Hi. Look at you. Thank you. Ooh. A little bit of lime in the cabbage. Mm. Just a little bit. Ooh. Massaging a little bit of salt, you know. Ooh, yeah. Can you hear the ice under there? Oh my right. gosh, look at that. Look at all those veggies. So you grab your beans and you spread your beans right there. Efra, this looks Oh, wow. So yeah, there you go. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. And then we'll do this. <gasps> wow. 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 And then we'll grab We'll grab a spoon, we'll grab that one and just do it this there for a little, yeah. little time. Okay, here mm. you go, tostada. Yay! Yeah. Gracias, chef. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. This is so good. Good. Perfecto. Oh, okay, okay, if there's little in my face, I love it. It's too much. 
あの<笑> Sadly, the morning after our delicious feast, I found myself feeling pretty sick, so Brian is doing his best to ensure I get better. How are you feeling, babe? <laughs> Not so good. Yeah. I, like my, I feel like this is Bali all over again. You, oh, you got Bali belly in Mexico? Yeah. I want to do this revenge. Mmm. Not cool. Mmm. It sucks, we've only been here like a week. Mmm. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno at all. Ooh, like, it hurt all over. Got a lot of stuff coming out my butt. And my insides are like. Hurt so hard. You got a busy butt. Yeah, but now it's just like my insides hurt. Mmm. I haven't slept. I'm sorry, Dan. Gracias. De nada. <laughs> hey, I got your medicine. Heck yeah. Thanks, B. See? Is this like an antibiotic or something? Antibiotic. So neat. Gracias. De nada. Es 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 perfecto. Sí. And all this leads us to today. Ah. Uh, shit. B. Our water isn't turning on. What do you mean? There's no water coming out, and the water pump isn't even making a sound. Oh, that's that's good. That's not good news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not good Cause news. Because I gotta wash my hands. I'm all dirty. <laughs> uh, do you want to check a couple things and? Uh, let me check the fuse. I mean, there's no light on. Looks like the fuse is good. Out of all the things we prepared for, we didn't. We don't have an extra water pump. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it like a lot RVs? Like, don't they generally? <laughs> I feel like water pumps go out in RVs all the time, and I don't hear that back there. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess first uh, we should maybe just check that back there. Do a little check on it. Make sure. Check. Yeah. Yeah. Just go take a peek. Maybe. Yeah. Very dirty. <laughs> it's the wrong time to not have a water pump. Yeah, thankfully we had a little bit of water. So we figured out that, I don't know if we really figured it out. Either way, the water pump is, um, it's not doing anything. So there is a store that may or may not have the water pump that we need over here in Topeak. Really hoping that it does. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait for a delivery and we'll, I don't know, because we Set need drinkable jugs of water. Yeah, buy jugs of water. Yeah. Ah, not the worst thing, but so you want to head out? Yeah, let's go to that. Uh like a RVA store? Yeah, it's or, that store. Or a, I think it's like an RV boat store to see if they sell water pumps there. Okay. Well, we just got to Topeak and I think we're at the store to see where water pumps are, but I'm not quite sure. We gotta check with our friend Efra here to see if we're in the right spot. Because <laughs> he, he, he speaks Spanish. <laughs> yeah, because he speaks Spanish, so he'll help us out. It says it's supposed to be like right there somewhere. Okay. So let's go take a look. Yeah, that's a pasta place. Oh. No. The gentleman just said we asked people in the uh, corner store here to see if anyone knew about it. This is not. Why did they catch me with that? No. Huh. It's really weird. It's like 10 minutes from here. <laughs> so we just go there. Yeah. I don't even know what this place is. Bueno, electric, it's an electric, what does Bombas mean? 
I guess we're just gonna walk around the block and see if maybe it's around here close by, the GPS just got screwed up or something, but just gonna wander around here and see if we find something. And I guess they just fixed it. They don't have an actual sign, so they might not have the pumps, the, the, the water pumps uh. for sale. So we'll let's just go and check and see. Oh, you know, we'll, he said that we have to knock on the door. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's see. That's a bit odd, but okay, let's go with it. <laughs> Right there. Found it. <laughs> uh, house, house pumps. Yeah. Okay, well we'll just purchase one, eh? We need to buy one somewhere. Where the hell we bought one? Is it like a like a like a um, like a camper RV kind of thing store? The guys are standing in the hot sun over there and uh Stay right here. <laughs> it's shady, it's so hot. They have different pumps over in a shop this way, three blocks away. Let's see if they have it or if at least maybe they'll send us the right direction. Yeah, we'll, we'll check it out. Feel good. I think we're heading in the right direction. Well, thankfully, Ephra speaks. Perfect Spanish. Yeah. It's a huge help right now. Huge help. Is a Home Depot. Okay. Yeah, she's suggesting Home Depot. She said that most places that have these kind of pumps probably won't have that 12 volt. The 12 volt, that's yeah. what it's gotta be that. Yeah, because she said that that's, you know, it's battery operated. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, so yeah. She said that they don't carry that one. Yeah, it's about eight minutes away. Yeah, okay. Two miles. Let's try it. Yeah. Home Depot is possibly the only place that might have it. What was that that he pulled out? It, it was, that was an eight. I just want to take a look at this one pump. It looked like it was 12 volt and about the same size as our, our one we have now. Got it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. This is for the irrigation. There's another, as a manufacturing place that, that actually has water pumps. So we're gonna go see that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna have Ephra call. Maybe you should call the Home Depot while we're doing that, just so we don't have to drive all the way over there. This is the right place, but let's give it a shot. Hi, Phil. Uh, fortunately, I'm thinking Amazon at this point. Yeah. You know? So, having no water in Mexico. Yeah. Well, no matter what, we gotta go buy a jug of water, like yeah. one of those five gallon jugs. Yeah. Um, just so we have something for to last us until we clear up this problem. But uh, we're gonna call Home Depot in a little bit. And then um, I think we're just gonna go to Amazon, order on Amazon and just be done with it. And it's probably gonna take like a few days. So uh, that's, that's the reality of that. It's the one thing you want in Mexico now. It's the one thing. It's water. It's water. <laughs> And we also need to order that new table piece. Still haven't ordered that. Yeah. Yeah. But we have an alternator. <laughs> an extra alternator. <laughs> Specify it's a water pump for drinking water, not agriculture. Yeah, we're gonna order Amazon. So we just we'll have to figure out how we're gonna get water for brushing our teeth and washing our face, drinking especially. Yeah, so, uh, Ephra, what's fine? We'll have to go buy one of those jugs of water. Okay. Not somewhere on the way. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one right here. Boom. There she is. Okay, so add to cart. That's weird, usually it tells you right here on like, when I use it. Will you continue? Yeah. What does that say right there? Okay, so we go. Yeah. It'll probably tell us shipping after mm -hmm. this. It's going, we're getting there. One step at a time. All right. Six days with no running water. Well, we got the part ordered. Uh, the guys are getting a beverage right now, but I'm heading back to the van because I think I'm still kind of dealing with a little bit of what's commonly known as Montezuma's Revenge. I wish there was a better name for it, but still kind of going on right now. I'm trying to get you to open the door because oh. you're full. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Here's your iced tea. Thank you. Sorry, I had to use the restroom. Oh, so, yeah. 
No worries. They have a bath. They had a bathroom there. Well, I just didn't know what was gonna happen. I just started my period, and I was just, and you know, and like my stomach was feeling weird. So, anyways, yeah. so uh, what's the plan, Stan? So. I, need, I still need to go to AutoZone or a gas station, whatever comes first. So I want to get that airlifter filled up. Okay. Um, so our suspension is tighter. So why Brian is outside, he's using the air compressor to um, put some air in our tires because we've been on a lot of cobblestone streets. This sweet woman, we're parked outside of her place. She came up and she's talking to Efra in Spanish. Anyway, she was so sweet and she told me I could come anytime I want, get a massage from her come hang out, take a shower, stay at her place. She was so sweet. But uh, she gave me this sweet little tortilla like container. She just like came out here after I was talking with her and right. she gave this yeah. to us and I thought, how sweet. Look at me. That woman gave me a sweet little what? tortilla basket. The people here are so nice. Wow. They're amazing. incredibly just Get, they give, they give so much. Like oh, right. tortilla, they give food, they give things. This is so sweet. I think I'm ready for a swim and a nap. Yeah? yeah.